Hey Cancer, what's up? Welcome to your reading. This is a Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. It is a general reading. This may or may not resonate. If it doesn't, check out your other placements. If you need a personal reading, all that information is going to be down in the description box below. Right now, it looks like there's someone here who wants a reconciliation with you. Okay. This person does want a reconciliation with you and I feel someone and you on the other hand here um, are trying to ignore this reconciliation is also what I'm getting here. Someone out, out here, okay. Now this person out here, probably there are chances this person is coming towards you as wanting to friends on you, okay. That is one of the biggest reasons why you don't want this because you are trying to avoid a change out here you're trying to avoid a disaster you feel if you get back with this person here it's going to end up in a disaster and probably you've tried to avoid this tower movement for a very long time okay now this person wants to come back towards you they want to you know work with you okay but i feel they want to keep it very cordial all right sorry about that but the problem here is that this person is always coming up as someone you know who does not want real who really does not want commitment okay or someone who's always wanting to friends on you or they always want their freedom they enjoy their freedom they enjoy being emotionally detached mm -hmm. You cancer as um, an individual, as someone who's extremely emotional, okay? You will always want someone to be emotionally dependent on because that's just how you're made, all right? And you have given this person your all, okay? You've definitely uh, given this person your 100% and tried to make things work out, okay? You could be lacking a little bit of expression. Uh, you could be lacking expression, okay? You could be wanting to keep... You, you would tend to come out as keeping your feelings to yourself but this person out here is very expressive now what happens here is that the kind of person you're dealing with this is someone here who could tend to be someone very flirty they can come off as very flirty why not because this isn't their intentions but it's just that they kind of tend to attract the, the opposite gender very well okay because they're very expressive they're very fun loving you know someone who likes to chill who keeps it very light-hearted okay they don't like to get attached you are coming off as someone, when you're in this relationship with this person, you get very attached, okay? And that is one of the biggest reasons, biggest rift that has been created between you guys. You want to get this person to be with you. You want to, you know, get this person to uh, commit to you, etc. Which they're doing. I feel eventually uh, what they're feeling is with the hierophant here. I feel eventually this person's changing their belief system, okay? They're trying to get into uh, a routine. They're trying to get into a more structured way of thinking about how relationship should be. You on the other hand here, now what's happening here is I feel that you are resisting wanting to get back to this person or wanting to take this person back here okay and this person out here definitely wants to start building with you okay day by day you are now very focused on your own career okay you're focused on your career your goals your money and you're probably being the center of attraction right now okay um There are chances you could be feeling that this person wants to be the center of attraction here, okay? And this person feels that you're someone who wants commitment. It could be anyways, okay? The mutual energy out here is that you're both missing opportunities over opportunities, okay? There are many chances where you both have got, where you guys can get back, back together. Communication is the key out here. But the problem here is that you're both being cowards here. No one is taking the first step here, not you nor them. But eventually with their actions, I see the ace of wands on their side, which means this person will eventually want to come back to you and start a brand new cycle with you, okay? Letting go of what is going on in the past. You on the other hand here, I feel you're being very depressed, okay? Like I said, right? You are tending to get into depression. You're not being able to see anything positive in your life or in this relationship where you feel all hope is lost here. You're lacking clarity out here. But the problem here is that the clarity is there. You're choosing not to see it here okay that's what i'm getting here uh and the outcome here with the lovers here i feel you're going to have to make a choice because there is a reunion i see here okay you're going to have to make a choice so this person is going to have to make a choice now i feel you both have a choice this person is choosing to want to come towards you and commit towards you and wanting to change their goals or wanting to change the way they look at relationships wanting to get more into the traditional way you on the other hand here now you don't want it i feel now you're more focused on yourself goals on uh, yourself you're making yourself self a priority here okay you're choosing you over anywhere else now you're all about me 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 earlier this person was all about themselves okay they would only want to be with you yes they loved you but they wanted to keep it at a very emotionally detached level here which is why there was a tower moment here okay because you thought things were okay you probably wanted to go with the flow unless and until you will you know i feel you were trying to avoid a conflict okay you would try to avoid a breakup now what's happening here is that now that this person wants to come back to you 
there are chances you don't want them anymore okay because you're afraid you're scared is what i'm getting here okay you don't want to be vulnerable you'd rather focus on yourself and now what i'm getting here is that you are very emotionally uh, you could have come up as very very possessive very dominating in this love uh, relationship here but you were dealing with someone who freedom is everything to them okay the moment they feel trapped the moment you tell them what to do the moment you tell them this is how it's supposed to be you're supposed to call me so many times you're supposed to text me so many times that's when the, th that's something that this person doesn't like now this person is finally going to take the initiative to come towards you because i do see them taking action towards you but the problem here is that eventually i feel that you guys are going to get back together there is a reunion out here okay Yes, you do worry too much, but I feel that there is going to be some kind of a harmony and reunion and balance here between you both here. You are choosing to suffer in silence is what I'm getting here. Okay, because you have a hard time opening up here. That's also what I'm getting here. Okay, but there is a reunion here. The problem here is that someone needs to take initiative and I think they are going to take the initiative to come towards you. Because like I said, they're changing their belief system out here. Okay. They're wanting to commit. They're wanting to see things from a different point of view here, okay? And on their mind is a reconciliation. But the, they, but the way they want to do it is what I'm getting is that it's going to take some time the way they come towards you, okay? You on the other hand here are being pretty rigid is what I'm getting here, okay? I feel changes scare you, Cancer. To a certain point of view, changes scare you. You don't like changes, okay? And changes are inevitable. As long as you're living, there are constant changes that are going to keep coming up in your life here. The way you can make this work out is by being cordial and being together on the same page and trying to work together, okay? My advice to you, Cancer, is don't get very emotionally attached to this person right now because the more emotionally attached you get to this person, the more chances you're going to drive them away. That is if you want this person back. If you don't want them back and if you're focused on yourself, you're good. But this is not a very good energy with the sun in reverse here because this is someone who's prone to depression also, okay? So try and see, don't focus on the negative aspects of this relationship. And try and focus on what can happen better rather than what didn't go what didn't work out and even if you don't want this person here if you're okay on your own if you're okay on this in this solo energy out here being in this solitary energy that's good but still try and see that there's a new beginning in your life because you're resisting a new beginning here i feel a lot of resistance here okay wanting to build from scratch with this person here because you're scared right that things will backfire okay so that's what i have for you i hope this video resonates leave your comments below like share subscribe and i'll see you next time bye bye Thanks. Bye-bye.